first game of the season, and it's a tough one as well, playing against Dow Kurd away from home. Alright team, welcome back to another video and it is a big one. We finally made it. We're through the longest pre-season known to man here in Sweden and it's time for the start of the 2023 season. We've got our first game of the year this weekend away at Dalkurd. It's going to be a big one, looking forward to it. But first of all, we've got training this morning. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and let's get going. Come on. Beautiful day for it. And we're back home, session done, ready for the game tomorrow. Nice to finally show you some training footage. I know it's been a while, we'll have more of that coming as we go through the season. But something else that's pretty cool, now that it's the start of the season, is we've got a new boot delivery. So we're gonna open these up and have a look, and you can tell me what you think. So Vassa Lund, we're sponsored by Puma, which is why we've got the Puma box with a pair of boots for this season. Most of you guys know my go-to boots, Night Tiempos, in the black, always been a Tiempo guy, black if I can. But let's have a look at the Pumas and see which ones we're gonna go for for this year. Ooh, not ones that I would normally be going for in terms of color, but I quite like them actually, they're quite smart. I say they're blue, Frankie says they're purple. Let me know down in the comments what you think. If they are purple, at least it's a little bit of the Loughborough African violet shade, which we can definitely live with. I've seen Jan Sommer and a couple of other keepers wearing these as well. They're very nice, I've tried them on, they're comfy, but I have to say, I think, for the first match of the season at least, I will be going with the tried and tested OGs, the Nike Tiempos. Very hard to beat these boots, super, super comfy. Anyway, tomorrow's game. Oh, so, first game of the season, and it's a tough one as well, Probably one of the hardest games we could have to open the season because we're playing against Dow Kurd away from home. Now, Dow Kurd, strong team. Last year they were in the league above, Super Etan. They were relegated into Etan Nora. I've played against them before. They're always a strong team. They always bring in some good players. Very different team to last year's squad, but we've been going through the video analysis this week, preparing for the game, and they have a lot of threat, a lot of attacking threat. Very talented forward players, and we know it's going to be a tough, tough game. As you can see from the odds for this year, you can see both of us up there in the top four favourites to win the league. It's our job to prove them right, it's our job to prove ourselves as the best team in this league consistently for the full season. That's what we're going to be working for each and every week, starting with this big game tomorrow. But we can talk about that more later on because right now I need to go and get a haircut because this trim is horrible, especially for starting a season. So I'm going to head out and hopefully have a nicer trim when I see you in a second. 
There we go, ready for the season. It did strike me as I sat down in the barber's chair, it was a little bit of a risk trying a new barber's for the first time the day before the season. But thankfully, he's not done too bad of a job. So here we go, game day. Just having a quick snack before we head out. A little bit of toast, banana. We're getting some food on the bus, but just having a little bit before I go. Obviously had my breakfast this morning, but excited, it's finally here. The sun's out, the sky's blue, the season's starting. As I said, gonna be a really good test. Two of the best teams in the league on the first game of the season. This is what we do it for, so this is very exciting. I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna take you guys along, as always, show you how we get on in the game. We're gonna head out to the bus in a minute, get the game day started. Wish us luck, let's go. Montagna samt fart in Rabet gjorde mål för Dalkund. Vi se om det funkar bättre den här gången. Och där är Blåser, domaren igång. Ludvig Öhman, kaptenen passar hem till Conor O'Keefe. Ny förvärvet från Piteå. O'Keefe som är ett riktigt bra nyförvärv från Vasalund eftersom han har varit en av seriens bättre målvakter för sitt Piteå de senaste två säsongerna. Blir det en variant. Bovin får bollen. Dribblar. Lägger in den. Nickas! Utanför! Oj! Det var snyggt. Är det straff eller frispark? Det är straff. Deprem går mot bollen. Och det är mål! Vi har ett 1-0 för hemmalaget. Kif. Boll ut på högersidan. Innan i fatten, han blir ju skapligt dragen. Här finns det inspelsläge. Bovin får bollen bakom sig, men avslutet kommer över. Robin Deppren som har bollen nu. Hittar Montagna, kaptenen. Oj, vilken fin passning! Blir lite dragen i tröjan där va? Thiago Sargbo. Tanja, Karlbo, Karlbo. Far din rabet. Nej, Rachmani är det. Som går på ett avslut och det är mål! Åh, oh, herregud! Jag trodde ju chansen var överspelad. När Rachmani bestämde sig för att gå på ett avslut. Ja, den bobblar lite för... Anders eh... lägger in den i straffområdet. Tim Marcel nickar. Fångas in av Conor O'Keefe. hamnar. Bygger då blir det går direkt på mål och det släng av eh, Intulli. Bovin, Bovin, Bovin avslut. Salem. Ukasian. Salem. Går på ta slut. Den för Bo istället ni förvärv från guys. Jag går Sanchez, går på ta slut som fångas in enkelt utav Connor och Kif i Bosa fram den. Till Karlbo. Ja, oh, Deppre på vänster sidan. Åh, oh, passar ju bollen vid. Antelidis tar sig förbi. Inspelet snett inåt bakåt. Moses, Gukasian, Vambani. Montagna. Mm, det är Wahedi som kommer in och Vambani. 
Boll mot Victor Johansson men Conor Kiff läser den bollen helt. Innan ni fatten det gör han Victor Johansson blir ju fälld. Han blir ju fälld. Frågan är om det är straff eller inte. Det är straff. Rikt om det blir mål eller inte. Deppre mot Okif. Och det är mål av Deppre och vi har ett 3-0 resultat för hemmalaget. SK. I liket kommer Elias Jamal. Christian Moses. Oj vad fint. Skaplig fel pass fram till Victor Johansson. Som väljer att gå själv tror jag. Bli fälld. Och vi har straff nummer tre. Man som ska skjuta. Skjuter och det är mål. Det är hur säkert som helst. Ja, ändå schysst av Rahmani och ger bort den där. Det blev tre straffar. Christian Moses. För Vasalunds del var det otur att det blev just idag. Rabetz. Där blåser ju Rambo Beige av matchen och slutresultatet blir 4-0 till Vasalund efter tre Så det är en few days after the game and I definitely needed a few days in order to calm down enough to think rationally about it and talk about it. I think all of us are embarrassed and extremely frustrated with that game. It's probably the worst possible start to the season and a result that no one really saw coming. And when you break down the game, I'm not sure how it was that result. They've only really had one shot on target from open play and somehow managed to win 4-0. I don't think I've ever had three penalties against me in a game before, but regardless of the penalties, we know we could have and should have done a lot more. We should have fought a lot more. We should have been a lot more aggressive. We had good chances. We had good periods of play. The main thing for us is how do we use that? Do we let that define us in a really bad way and have a really poor start to the season, feel really negative? Or do we let that result be the best thing that could have happened this season and spur us on to a whole nother level of play. That's what we have to do as a group. That's what we have to do as a team. Personally, frustrated that I couldn't do more in the penalty situations. The first one, I was so, so close. The second goal, great strike, had so much movement on the ball. So frustrating that I couldn't step up in those big moments. But like I say, we can use it in a really positive way and that's what we're gonna do. This week's Patreon of the Week is Lucas Mickelson. Lucas, thank you for supporting us. Thank you for supporting the channel. We wouldn't be able to do what we do without patrons like yourself. So a massive, massive thank you. But that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button down below. Helps us out a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's gonna be a roller coaster of a season as you've already seen. So come along, join us for it. I'll see you in the next video next week as always, but look after yourselves, keep chasing improvement, and I'll speak to you in a bit.